Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Query Design View gives us power and flexibility in designing our queries. Although it isn't the only way to make them initially, you will have to learn how to use Query Design View at some point as you grow in your access skill set. In Query Design View, the tables from which you extract data are placed into the top section of the Design View. You then add fields from the tables that you want to view into the Query Results at the bottom grid section called the QBE, or Query by Example Grid. So to make a query in Design View, select Queries in the Database Container, and then click the New button in the Database Container to view the New Query dialog box. Select the Design View choice in this dialog box and click OK to view the Query Design View. Now the first thing you'll see is the Show Table dialog box appearing over the Query Design View. Just as with the Relationships window which we used earlier, we have to add the table or tables that we need for the query into the Query Design View. You simply click on the names of the tables which you wish to add and then click the Add button at the right of the Show Table dialog box to add the necessary tables to the query. So for example, if we wanted to query our employees to find out which ones lived in the state of Washington, I could click on them, click Add, and click Close. Now if you wanted to add all of the fields in a table to the query's result set, you can click and drag the first field in the table, which is the little asterisk, down into the QBE grid and just drop it there. The result set would then show all fields in that table. If you don't want to actually show all fields in a table, then you can optionally just click and drag down just the fields that you wish to see into the QBE grid down below. So for example, if I just wanted to see the first name, click and drag it. The last name, you could click and drag it and then also the region. We could simply find that and once again just click and drag and drop it into the QBE grid. Now make sure that you only select the tables above that you absolutely need in order to have to run the query. Adding additional tables which you won't really use into the query forces the query to access those tables whenever it's run, slowing it down pointlessly. It can also produce unexpected and sometimes erroneous results. So as you add the necessary tables to the query, the joins which you've created between the tables will also be displayed at the top of the query. So once you've added tables to a query, if you need to add more, you can click the Show Table button at the top of the Query Design view, it's the one with a little plus next to it, and select the additional tables to add. So here we add orders. Note because there's a join between employees and orders in the relationships window, that join appears also here in the query. Also, if you need to remove a table, you may right click on any table up at the top in the table area and then left click remove table. Also make sure you delete any fields that you had pulled from that table from your query as they will no longer be able to access that data. Also make sure that you don't add two tables that have no direct relationship, such as employees and products. If I need to create a query that in some way ties employees to products, I have to also add in all the other tables that join the two together. If you try and create a query between two tables that share no direct relationship with each other, what you'll instead get is what's called a Cartesian product and it basically takes every row in the first table and multiplies it times every row in the second table. So for example, if you had a query that looked like this, there's no join here. So for every employee, it would actually take the values and multiply them times the value of every row in the second table. And you'll usually notice when this happens, as you'll suddenly have several hundred, if not thousand, more records in your query result than you do data records in either table. So watch out for that when you're making your queries. 
Once you've added the necessary tables to the query, you can click the close button in the show table dialog box to close it and then display the query design view. You once again will see the tables that you've added shown at the small table diagram at the top of the query design view. If you forgot a table and need to add it, remember show table allows you to bring up additional tables. And we have then just the ability to add the fields to the QBE grid below. Now we looked at clicking and dragging the names of the fields from the table at the top and dropping them into the columns at the bottom of the design grid. Also note that you can double click on a field in the table to automatically add it to the section below. Or you may click into any field and use the drop down that appears to select one of the field names. There's quite a few ways you can add the fields from the tables into the grid. So usually the double click the drop down or the click and drag are the most popular. Now if you need to remove a field which you accidentally added to the grid or reorganize the order of the fields in the design grid you must first select the column to delete or remove in the result set. So to do this place your mouse pointer slightly above the column in the grid area which you wish to select. When you see a downward pointing black arrow you're in the correct place. Click once to select the field. To delete it at that point, you may simply press delete on your keyboard. To move it, put your white mouse pointer into the very top of the selected column and click and drag the selected column left or right. As you drag it, you'll see a thick black line appear between the columns over which you drag your mouse. This line represents where the column would be inserted when you release your mouse. Now once you have the fields that you want added to the query grid, you can then add sorting and filtering criteria to the query. However, if you do not wish to restrict the data that is displayed, you can simply run the query at this point. To simply run a query and view the result set, you may click the Run button in the middle of the database toolbar. It's the button that contains the red exclamation point. The result set looks very much like a table in Datasheet View does. However, it's not a real table in the sense that our other tables are. The table that is produced when you run a query goes away as soon as you close the query. A query is really a definition of what data should be retrieved from the tables and displayed whenever somebody runs the query. Therefore, a query always shows the most up-to-date data every time that you run it. You can switch the query back to the query design view by clicking the leftmost button in the database toolbar, which shows the opposite view of the one that you're using. When you're ready to save your query, you may click the Save button in the database toolbar and then type in a name for your query. Then click OK and you can close your query without losing all of your design work. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.